what this is, is uh, this is a 75 pound um, cylinder of liquid CO2, carbon dioxide. Now you're used to carbon dioxide as a gas that is free, flowing freely in our atmosphere. You've probably heard it before, okay? Um, actually, you exhale it with every breath you take. You breathe in oxygen, and then uh, you exhale carbon dioxide. Down this hose into this little box, we're gonna try to make dry ice with the CO2, okay? Um, you'll see what dry ice looks like in just a minute, but basically, it is carbon dioxide, CO2, in solid form. So, I'm gonna turn this valve here, to make a little noise, but don't worry, you are in no danger from where you're standing. <laughs> on because some of these surfaces can get pretty darn cold. Okay, there we go. And what was once an empty box is now filled with what we call dry ice. This is what carbon dioxide, the gas you exhale, looks like when it's in solid form. So there you have it. You got a good look there? Okay, now follow me. Investigation number two that you guys do today in your lab is taking a small piece of this and putting it on the table, and I called it air hockey. Check this out. It slides right across this table very easily, and uh, it's doing something called uh, sublimating. Sublimation is when um, a solid goes straight to a gas. It skips the liquid phase. Okay, now if you had a chunk of water ice, right, regular ice, if you had a chunk of that and put it on the table, it would melt first to water, a liquid, and then eventually evaporate. This goes straight to a gas. We don't call that evaporation because it's starting out as a solid, not a liquid. We call it sublimation. So if you hear me use the word sublimate, I'm talking about this changing into a gas, which you can already see it's doing very quickly. Why do you guys think it scoots so effortlessly across the table? Um, okay, so that's part of it. The table is warmer, so it's, and, the uh, and so is the rest of the atmosphere around it, right? Yeah. So that's causing the dry ice to do what? It's causing it like, to kind of like, kind of slide, and then it's getting smaller since it's not that cold. It's okay. Getting into gas. It's turning into a gas. There you yeah. go. Would it be releasing that gas even on the side that it's uh, touching the table? Well, you can't see the gas. You can Maybe see I little can tiny, see, like, tiny water uh, droplets. Yeah. But even underneath that little piece of ice uh, is gas being released. So it kind of scoots across that layer of gas that's forming between the table and the ice. Why is it called air hockey? Because there's air underneath it. Yeah, and what kind of air is it? Um, it's oxygen. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> CO2. What's CO2? It's carbon dioxide. Woo, nice job. Boom. All right, so here's one of the investigations. Why don't you guys tell me what you did here? Um, we put, uh, yeah, we put hot water in the thing, and then we put the dry ice in the... Wait, the hot water in the thing? The, the, the hot water beaker. in the beaker. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. The beaker. It was a bug. Well, you got to know what it's called. This is science. All right, so there's hot water in the beaker, and then there's dry ice in there? Yeah. Right. So it's basically reacting like fog. What do you think this fog... Ooh, fog. What's fog? Um, it's air. basically a mist that it's it air. makes. Mm. It's when, solid when, air. When the, mist. When the air is like colder it's, than it's the water. It's solid air. Touch. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's a mist. Mist is tiny little water droplets, hey, right? Hey, hey, think, think of this one. Condensed water. Hey, I think we kind of changed. I think we kind of changed dry ice cube. Oh, there it is. Yep. We're playing air hockey. Ready? Ready? Good job. So this is investigation on your lab, investigation number three, right? We're calling this the witch's brew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we'll call this the witch's brew. So really, there's no secret ingredient. It's just water and carbon dioxide, dry ice. Pretty cool. Dioxide in there. Now, hey. uh this bag is really inflating. What's the gas inside of the bag? CO2. 
CO2. CO2. And where did it come from? The ice. The dry ice. What Why? did you say earlier about the FET simulation we did yesterday? So when you heated up a solid in the simulation, the molecules got further apart. So they went from close and rigid, like the solid dry ice, and they expanded as they heated into a gas. That's what's going on inside this bag. It's expanding and heating. And what I did with the bag is I created a closed system, trapping all that CO2. So unless there's a hole in the bag, this bag should pop, which would be really exciting. Speaking of popping, I think, uh, this group over here is even closer. Oh, oh. oh it just goes open. Why is that not popping? You're gonna pop it. It's getting closer. Woo! Hey, watch out. All right. <laughs> We had a dry ice make its way over here. So everybody be careful. There's the video, there are two uh, beakers of water here. Uh, the third investigation you're supposed to do is called witch's brew. All you do is you take a piece of dry ice, okay? If you're in the front, why don't you take a knee? Take a knee, there you go, that way everybody can see. And uh, I just drop it into the water and as you can see, if I hold it underwater, it really bubbles. What gas is in those bubbles? CO2. See, now we're talking. We're starting That's to understand fun. it now. Uh, it's CO2, so there's carbon dioxide inside of those bubbles because the dry ice is uh, sublimating inside the water, which is much warmer. And so as sublimation happens, more gas gets released. Now, this foggy stuff, is that gas? I think it that ours. Hey, yo. Just making sure you're awake. Janelle, put your hand out. All right, make sure you get her hand up close here. Get in here, right? Okay. How, how does that feel, Janelle? It's not that cold. Not that cold. Does it feel kind of wet? Maybe yeah. a little bit, like if you were to walk through one of those misty things at Six Flags, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? That's because it's water. Those are tiny, tiny, tiny little water droplets. It's fog, okay? Now, those water droplets are kind of mixed in with a lot of air that's helping it kind of lift off the ground. And that air is going to be what? What gas is in that air? CO2, CO2 carbon dioxide. So the reason that it, it goes downward is because CO2 is heavier than normal air, okay? A couple weeks ago we looked at hydrogen, which was lighter than air. CO2 is much heavier than air. So the reason I can pour that water vapor, not water vapor, the condensed water droplets down is because they're kind of riding the CO2 molecules with it. Now here's something really cool. We call this Marge's experiment. If I take soap and I put it into a beaker and stir it up to get soapy water. Now all that's in here is water and soap. Okay. Now remember, it's going to still release bubbles, but now it's at soapy water. And soapy water, uh, it bubbles up, it captures that gas being released, so we get Marge's hair. If you dye it blue, it would look just like Marge's hair. You know who Marge is, right? Yes. Marge Simpson. Oh, oh, the Simpson lady. Family. Trying to hold it down a little bit here. All right, pop that bubble, Josh. Hurry. Josh. Fun. Okay. Yeah. All right. It's fun, isn't it? Look at it, there's some escape in there. Okay, so now what's happening is that gas gets released with a little bit of condensed water droplets, some fog, cloud, and we're trapping it inside those soapy bubbles. Pretty cool, huh? You can freeze it. There you go. How is ours? My theory is wrong.